Now we will discuss last question in our experiment number one. The quality control inspector collects a random sample of 12 bottles from soft drink bottling plant and an amount of soft drink content in ml in these bottles is recorded below. So these are the values that we are given. Obtain average, minimum, maximum and range of the amount of soft drink content in these 12 bottles by built-in functions, auto sum functions and filter function. So we need to solve this example. So basically this example is related with summary statistics. So this is aim is calculation of summary statistics. Statistical tools are summary statistics, required formulae, count, sum, average, minimum, maximum, range, data source. So that is provided in our practical sheet. Let us define X. X is amount of soft drink content in ML. And I have taken all these 12 observations and with the help of these 12 observations what I need to calculate what is the count of observations sum of observations average minimum maximum and range of the values we can do this in various ways one way is to use built-in functions so to find out count of all these observations equal to use count function and give the range of values bracket complete enter so that will gives us the value as 12 so there are 12 values that i have used this count function how to find out sum of all observations so to use sum function and you can see this in your formula bar also so equal to sum and i have given the data so that will gives us the result as 3604 just i am highlighting this suppose if I am interested in finding the average of these values. So what we have to do, we have to use a average function. A, V, E, C, this is, do this average, select this and give the number of observations. So that will gives me the data. See, this is the result, 300.3333. So that is also here. So this is use average function. To find out maximum value, use max function to find out minimum value use mean function and finally you can find out the value of range so what is range range is nothing but maximum value minus minimum value the maximum value is 304 so that is equal to 304 minus 296 so this is 8 so in this way you can use the functions built-in functions to find out the value of range so at the same time you can use auto sum also. In auto sum function, we are getting the sum of all observations. Next is the average of all observations, count numbers, maximum, minimum, and more functions are also. Suppose if I am interested in finding the minimum of observations, use this and give the data, enter. See, this is the minimum of observations. With the help of auto sum function, also we can find out the value of minimum observations and there is one more function that you can use in excel so i am using excel 24 so therefore this facility is also available there comes the option control q and with the help of control q go to totals see here also there are sum is there average is there count is there percentage total running total so sum count the number of observations okay See, this is 12. So count is 12. Suppose if I am interested in finding the cumulative frequency of all observations, I can also find cumulative frequency with the help of go to total, sum this, running total. See, we are getting the values as 298. The first value is 298. Add this to 297, 595, 595 plus 301. So that is 896. Likewise, these are my cumulative frequencies this control q function so this is also available in excel suppose if i am interested in finding suppose if go to this select all the data go to totals and suppose if i am interested in average of these values click on this so this is the value 300.333 so that is the average of values so in this way you can also find out all these summary statistics and finally, 
I will show you how to obtain the summary statistics with the help of data analysis. Go to data, select data analysis, select this, go to descriptive statistics, OK, give the range, input range, you are giving X, select this, then labels in, in first row, yes, click on this, so select this output range, summary statistics, OK. So that will give me the summary statistics because these are this is mean standard deviation median more in this case also i am getting the range of values minimum maximum sum and count so in this way you can find out the summary statistics whenever the data is known so we will discuss diagrams and charts in in the next session till then goodbye